my favorite article of all time, I mean, I'm talking about all time with respect to strategy, is the Porter article because it was so darn simple. Porter says that strategy really is about creating some kind of advantage. He talked about sustainable competitive advantage but the advantage only comes about by either doing a similar activity differently or a different activity. You got to do something different. By doing the same thing the same way as everybody else, it may keep you in the ball game, but it doesn't create sustainable competitive advantage. I'm a visual learner. And so the best thing that I know in terms of thinking about marketplace positioning is what I call the cube model. Looking for your space. So the first thing that I think about in terms of my space, where is it that I choose to compete, is to think about what are the product options, which could be services. You know, as a hotel here, they offer breakfast, lunch, dinner, they offer rooms, they offer meeting rooms. So there are a number of services that they say yes to and services that they say no to. And the key notion, as you read in the article, was the value analysis. So the second piece of the model that helps me is to say, so who have you targeted as your customers? What's your customer segmentation? Is there a socioeconomic background? Is it an average income? What income level do you think Nordstrom's targets for? And what income level do you think Walmart targets? Are they the same? And then the third area is really a choice on how you go to market. What's the channel that you choose to go? Is the channel online or is it in some physical environment here? You got to have a framework. What are the options that exist out there? The most important thing for me is once I've chosen a space and said, I'm saying yes to these products, what's the uniqueness? Doing the same thing everybody else does is not strategy. Strategy rests with the uniqueness within your selected segment. But if you're not clear about your selected segment, you got trouble. You can't be world class at everything. So you have to understand which of your processes create your uniqueness. What you have to do is choose, we're going to be world class in this particular area and we're going to do similar activities differently or different activities that create separation. How do you resource your competitive work? If you don't know what your competitive work is, then you better be working on your strategy because your strategy drives what your uniqueness should be. That's why what you're doing is so important here.